When we look at Macrometa, when we look at different teams, what kind of personas that do you target? Who who can benefit from you know your services? And also, if you can also talk about the importance of culture practices in this world. Uh, it's such a great question. I think we can have a podcast just on that particular topic. So, you know, you know so from Macrometa's perspective, we see ourselves as stakeholders who are very invested in helping uh, the largest internet organizations, their SRE teams, their site reliability engineering teams, their platform engineering teams, and their uh, uh, performance engineering teams really be able to take advantage of the edge delivery network to solve their core problems. Today, SRE organizations are being asked to scale their infrastructure while keeping it cost efficient and making it even more faster and high performance. Sometimes these three things don't come together very, very neatly. And so a lot of these SRE and web performance organizations are sort of taking one step forward and taking two steps back with each release. It's a very challenging world because there's so much a complexity that you know, these organizations deal with. We're kind of the simple button for these types of problems. If your application performance is poor, if your site performance is poor, if you have, you know, you know, if you want to improve your conversion rates, for example, you're not going to be able to engineer it just by throwing more humans at the problem. You need to bring AI, you need to bring machine learning to take advantage of the vast amounts of data, you know, that are available that can streamline all of this for you in a simple way. So our focus is on enabling and empowering these organizations. And then, you know, tangentially, all of this connects to how do we help our customers make more money? Ultimately, you've got to help your customers monetize their sites and make more money or help them reduce costs and become efficient in some ways. So we focus heavily on those two value propositions for this community or, or this culture right, that you talked about, which is SRE, uh, performance engineering and, and web performance engineering. Uh, and, and I think the other question that you asked is also a very uh, thoughtful one, which is, you know, how does culture play in all of this? You know, I think that the Internet is built on trust, and that's one of the most fundamental parts of it. But we're now moving into the zero trust era, right? And, and that's important for the Internet to scale. Trust itself has constraints in that trust doesn't scale easily. But zero trust, or at least creating factors in which we can create trust dynamically just in time, Anytime somebody needs a resource or needs something from the internet is the way to go. And that's what creates scalability. So I think, you know, my, my, my advice to almost all organizations is adopt zero trust uh, types of approaches, approach things that allow you to scale and become more efficient, you know, while being able to create trust on demand, you know, trust as a service is almost sort of uh, what, what I think of when we think about zero trust networks, because that's what allows trust and safety to scale.